Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, I'll be going through one of week 3's practice problems called Snack Bar. So in this practice problem, the learning goal is to practice using structs and also write a linear um, search algorithm. And so in this practice problem, how our program is going to work is that initially we will be printing out the menu items that the user can uh, pick and order from. And then based on what the menu items is, the user can order a few items and then based on the price of all the items, the program will be calculating what the total cost of all the items are. So uh, let's get started. And so here we have the code. Uh, in the beginning, they have kindly given us the entire menu item that we can just copy and paste from uh, to initialize our struct array, which you'll be seeing in a bit. And then we have a few um, uh, library includes that might come in handy in our program. And next we have a define for the the total number of items in the menu and then we have the struct so this struct uh, called menu items contains a string item and a float price the string item is just going to be the name of the item and the float price is just going to be the price of the item and then we declare an array of uh, type menu items and this is where we are going to be storing all of the items uh, from uh, element 0 1 2 3 4 and onward and then we have this function prototype which is add items this is where we'll be initializing and filling in all of the contents in this uh, menu items struct array and here we have get costs and this is going to be calculating the total cost of all the items that the user has ordered and then uh, yeah so these are the functions that we are supposed to implement and then in this main function um, we have add items which is go just going to be initializing uh, like I mentioned here and then we are going to be printing on all the items as you can see here so this is what we are what we'll be printing and this is what this portion is going to do and then afterwards we have a total and this total is just going to be updated depending on what are the items picked by the user and then in the very end we'll be printing out the total variable all right so first and foremost we would like to populate the array here right the menu array how can we do that so what we have to do here is that we have to individually index into every single element in the array and then go into the contents of the struct such as items and price and then define what they are and if you guys have done the average temperatures practice problem you guys uh, should have seen how uh, they initialized their structures and this is exactly how we'll be initializing our structure but in our scenario, the first variable in our structure is going to be the name of the item and then next is going to be the price. So let's just quickly do that. I'll just be doing a copy and paste from what they gave here. So here it's going to be menu 0 dot item and then we have menu 0 dot price. Alright, so this is the array and we will just be hard coding in the values and we will be having a total of uh, 10 items so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 all right so first we have burger so this portion i'm just gonna be speeding it up all right so here we have all of the items and let me just add uh, let me just make them a string since they are of string type and now i'll just be adding their prices 9.5 and then we have 11. all right now for the semicolons and now changing all the indexed numbers and now as you can see here this is um, the same as what we have on the left here right so initially we have burger 9.50 vegan burger 11 dollars hot dog five dollars and so on so this is exactly how we want to be initializing our uh, structure array item uh, so now when they uh, index into every single item in the structure array and then be printing out the item name and the item price they'll be able to print it out print out the menu correctly so now that we are done with the add items function now we want to be uh, doing the get costs. So now for the get cost function, we would uh, want to be checking if the name of the item that the user entered is in fact in the menu. And if it is, we want to return the price of the item uh, that the user chose. And once we return the price of the item the user chose, 
the price would be added into the total variable and the total variable will just keep increasing until the user uh, doesn't enter anything at all right so how do we find uh, the price of the item that the user entered so if you guys have watched lecture 3 by david mellon you guys might have noticed that david mellon used uh, the str compare function in the search.c chapter of the video and this function is basically is comparing one string and another and if they are the exact same they will be returning zero so how do we do that so in our situation we would like to loop through all of the items in our array right so we can do for int i equals to zero i less than i less than num items i plus plus so in this for loop we want to be looping through all of the items in the array and then we would also be wanting to check if the item which is in the menu matches the item name entered by the user right and here in the string items variable is the item that is passed in by the user right so um, we get the food item that the user wants and store it in the item and then we pass this item into the get cost function so if uh, sure compare item comma then we'll be looping through all of the items in the menu so it's menu i dot item right and if it equals to zero then we want to say that oh we have found the item and we would like to return the price of the item the price of the item is just going to be menu dot i price all right and so that's about it but we are actually missing one of the requirements which is that we want the get cost to be case insensitive and if you guys actually read the sure compare um, documentation you would notice that it is case sensitive right so we need to find another function that is case insensitive and that is this so we can use this function um, and it compares two strings and it ignores the case and it returns uh, zero if they are the same string and it's going to be ignoring the case so we want to be using sir case compare all right so now uh, that should be it actually and if the item that is entered by the user is not in the menu we would just be returning a zero all right so now we want to uh, check if our program is working let me run make snack bar all right so seems to be no errors all right um, dot slash snack bar and here we have the menu uh, burger 950 vegan burger 11 dollars and enter food items and let me just use the first example that they have given us on the left burger and then fries soda and enter and as we can see we got 1650 which is correct now let's just double check with the next example since this program doesn't really have a check 50 we can't really confirm is uh, if our program is uh, checking out all of the test cases so uh, let me run this again and first is code brill and then we have hot dog enter eight dollars all right so uh, from the checks that we have done it seems to be working fine and if you guys enjoyed this video hit the like button and subscribe if you guys have any questions, comment down below and I'll try my best to help you guys out. And see you guys on the next video. Bye-bye.